Would you like to see very fine suturing craftily performed by an eye surgeon? This cornea has lost its transparency due to recurrent eye diseases. This patient is effectively blind in this eye. With the patient under general anesthetic, the operative field is prepared with antiseptic eye drops and sterile drapes. The upper and lower eyelids are retracted by specially designed eyelid retractors. The eye surgeon starts by carefully measuring the dimensions of the diseased cornea. This star-shaped apparatus leaves temporary markings on the surface of the eye to guide the surgeon during the procedure, especially when suturing. An initial incision is made with a sharp scalpel on the edge of the diseased cornea into the anterior chamber of the eye. A carefully measured central area is punched out of the diseased cornea. The surgeon now completes the full thickness of the incision using a dissection scissors and then removes the diseased cornea. Irrigation with copious amounts of balanced salt solution is done during the procedure. The eye is now surgically prepared to receive the new previously punched out donor cornea. This new transparent cornea is now carefully positioned over the pupil or the iris area. A specially designed microneedle holder and tissue forceps is utilized to suture the new cornea into position. The eye surgeon uses the markings to ensure correct placement of the new cornea. The first suture bite goes through the cornea, the second bite through the remaining cornea of the eye. The eye surgeon uses a modified surgeon's knot, three throws in one direction, followed by a single throw in the opposite direction, and then another throw in the original direction. At this stage, just the long end of the suture thread is cut with the scalpel blade. Let's have a look at a few more examples. The suturing is done under video magnification, enlarging the operative field approximately 10 times. The suture thread used here is 10O, attached to a C-shaped side cutting needle. Note that the surgeon systematically sutures opposing regions in a cross-like manner using the marks previously placed as a guide.
The main source of healthy corneas for transplants comes from generous people donating their corneas after their death. Bioengineering corneas is an exciting new development where new corneas are grown in the lab using corneal stem cells. Unfortunately, this method is still very expensive and beyond the reach of most people in need of corneal transplants, especially in developing countries. After all the sutures have been placed, the surgeon now cuts all the loose ends, leaving small knots. Note how the eye surgeon slides the knots, burying the knots in the eye to minimize irritation to the sensitive eye structures during the healing period. operation is concluded by the placement of an antibiotic eye ointment. The sutures will be removed after nine months. <laughs> 